So let's talk about nuclear reactions. Well, what are nuclear reactions? Well, they're reactions between nuclei. All right, so what's conserved in a nuclear reaction? Well, the mass number and the charge are the two things that are always conserved in a nuclear reaction, in every nuclear reaction. Every single radioactive decay, every single nuclear collision, every single nuclear reaction will conserve mass number and charge. All right. Now, the atomic number is not something that's conserved. So it actually often will change in a nuclear reaction. And we get something called transmutation of the elements. And this is something that cannot happen in a chemical reaction. It is impossible for a chemical reaction to change the atomic number. Nuclear reactions, that's not the case. Almost always will have a change in the atomic number. Nuclear reactions are associated with lots of energy. We're talking about reactions that happen inside of stars, okay, in the core of a star. These are the reactions that are taking place. Also, in a nuclear reactor, well, that's kind of why we call them nuclear reactors. All right, so let's see how we can solve a problem involving a nuclear reaction. All right, so I'm going to imagine that inside of a star or inside of a nuclear reactor, I've got oxygen 16 running into lead 208. They have a big collision, and after everything's said and done, we end up with carbon 12, two neutrons, and something else. And the question is, what is that something else? All right, to begin with, what I want to do is I want to write down all the atomic numbers, because the atomic numbers tell me the charge of these guys. And that's the other thing that's conserved. So oxygen, oxygen's number eight, so I'll write it. Lead, lead's number 82, so I'll write it. Carbon, carbon is number six. Neutrons have no protons. They're just neutrons. So that means that no charge, one atomic mass unit. All right. Now let's go through and just try to determine what this question mark has to be. I'm going to write it as X, and then we usually use a Z down here and an A up here. All right? Okay. So we'll say, looking along the top, 16 plus 208 has to equal 12 plus 2 plus A. Right? 12 and 2 is 14. So I'm going to take that away from the 16, and that'll give me 2. 2 plus 208 is 210. All right. Let's do the charge. So we'll have 8 plus 82 equals 6 plus 2 times 0 is 0 plus Z. All right. So I'll subtract the 6 from the 8, and that gives me 2. 2 plus 82 is 84. And that means that our X guy here is nothing more than we've got 210 on the top, 84 on the bottom. The 84 tells us what to call it because that's the atomic number. 84 happens to be polonium. So this is polonium 210 that comes out of this nuclear reaction. All right, let's go ahead to the next one. The next one tells us that a neutron is going to come in and hit a uranium 235 nucleus, and then it's going to spin off a cesium 135 nucleus, three neutrons, and something else. All right, this a uh, reaction is actually a very important reaction. It's called induced fission. So the neutron comes in, hits this uranium nucleus, splits it in two, and spits off a couple more neutrons. All right? So these guys are products of the nuclear fission reaction, and they're going to come out uh, as a result of nuclear reactors or as a result of a fission bomb. All right. So let's go ahead and solve this problem. 
All right, once again, a neutron, one, zero. Uranium is number 92. Cesium is number 55. We've got one, zero. And again, we're going to get rid of this guy and we're going to call him AZX because we don't know what else to call him yet. All right, so we've got one plus 230, that's 236 equals, right? 135 plus three plus A, all right? And if you go through this, you'll find that A got to be 98. All right, doing the bottoms, we have 92 equals 55 plus Z. And again, if you go through that, you'll find that Z has to be 37. All right? So that means that this guy is going to be um, 98, 37. Who's number 37? Consult the periodic table. It's rubidium. All right? So that's the other decay product. This guy is extremely unstable. He's going to decay very quickly. All right, now let's look at the last reaction. This is actually a very important reaction that um, fuels the sun. It's called fish or fusion. We've got hydrogen 2 and hydrogen 3. They come together, fuse, and form helium 4 and something else. Now this one's really easy. Hydrogen is 1. Hydrogen is 1. Helium is 2, right? So if we look along the top, we got 2 and 3. That's 5. We only got four there, so this guy has to have a one. One and one is two, we already got that, so that means this one is a zero. And who's one zero? That's my neutron. And so this is a fusion reaction that spits off a neutron and this nice stable alpha particle, helium-4. That's nuclear reactions.